Hey everyone, Lisa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint fur. Now, I have no music for this video, but if you're a musician or a DJ and you want one of your songs featured in a video, feel free to contact me. Now, you have to make a brush for fur first. I constructed mine using this picture. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the DeviantArt user's screen name out of fear of messing it up, but here you go. Now, they don't tell you how to make the brush, so I will. Go over to your tools and right click on a pre-box. Now select marker and configure your settings to something similar to this. Size should already come with the uneven element. Now I have a blank canvas up just to give you an example. For a little more realism, change the brush size every now and then. Really large for big tufts and really small for straight fur. Now because this is a marker tool, it will blend if you use another color in the same layer. You can try and bypass that by starting the second color slightly below the first one and just keep drawing lines in an upward motion until you're happy with it. Now, I'm going to show you a more practical example. I've been working on this for a Twitter follower named Corgi Tweets. It's a point of view of the world from a sweet Welsh Corgi named Megan. If you can't tell by my desktop pic, I love Corgis! Now, each color goes in its own layer. As you can see, I've already finished with the white, so I'm going to grab my base color, lower the opacity of the line art a little, and draw bits of fur in the direction that it would naturally grow. Now, if you want to make it look softer, here's what I did. What I do is I take my eraser, lower its density to about 35%, and erase in the opposite direction of fur growth. Because of the low density, it doesn't completely erase the fur. Set this to the same uneven L map as the brush. I'm going to stop the video and finish this as well as do some slight highlighting color. Okay, now that that's all done, I'm going to add some highlights to the fur. Pick a light color, create a new layer, and set that layer mode to luminosity. Now, using the marker, add highlights, taking your light source into consideration. To smooth out any sharp edges, simply blend with the blur tool, making single strokes against the direction of growth. I'm going to stop highlighting for right now and show you how to shade. Pretty much the same thing as base fur and highlighting. If your color is too dark, you can simply lower the layer's opacity. Now, if you feel the line art is getting in the way, don't be afraid to erase it. Use shading and highlighting in place of the line art. Now, keep playing with the fur until you're happy with it. Try to pay close attention to certain areas, such as jaw lines and shading from things like ears or collars. Also, keep in mind any special markings. Remember, just because two dogs may be of the same breed or even come from the same litter, no two dogs have the exact same markings. Here's my finished version. As you can see, the fur looks really soft and fluffy because of the slight amount of erasing. But my best advice to you is to play around with the settings and keep trying out new ideas. To get better at painting fur, try painting different breeds and species. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks to Megan for letting me use her as a model and thank you for watching. Here's my info. Hope to see you next time. Later.